What's up, everybody? What's up? Here, I'm gonna lift the Say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Storm crew, we're all doing it again. Make sure you guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you're hitting those buttons. Go check out our videos. We got 540 videos out. And we're going on and on and on and on. Today we're out adventuring. We do it all seasons. Today is a special day. You know why? We're glad you're here. You're watching the video. That right, so Cinco de Mayo. Single the mile. Hey, make sure you go to the link below and hit on one of those links. You can order our t-shirts. They're ready. They'll ship them directly to you. And we have a little fundraiser coming up because uh, Storm, uh, we're going through some tires and tie rods and all kinds of stuff, you know. Trying to plan a trip to oh. out of state trip. We want to get a state going. Cool things and uh, trying to get some stuff going. We are going to get out of state so we can do something that nobody else has done. You want to know what it is? Gotta find out. Oh, we, we learned our lesson like that. See you next video. That right, Rec. That's right. Yeah, we're at, uh, Who we at, man? Yeah, we're, uh, we're at somewhere 23. On there you go. 19 East 100 Street, man. Uh, not a, it's not Jeffrey a very Manor. good, not not a very good, very good spot. So, um, this is what's going down. We're going to try to do this real quick. Not in a very good part of town. But um, Richard Speck murdered eight nurses over here. Used to be a student um, nurse dormitory right here. And one by one, he led them into a room, tortured, raped, and killed all of them. Um, this yeah. is a building. Right? Yeah, this is where the nurses did their training, and it was, uh, or where they stayed. And then some of them were visiting a couple more. That's how I didn't know about this. There was eight or nine of them. Start and it, and and the, reason, yeah. right the reason that they knew, because you said one of them survived, right? Yes, one of them hid underneath a bed. Okay, and that's how, that's how he got caught, because right at that time in history, in the 60s, they were doing the Miranda rights right at that time in the, in the Supreme Court. So, right. so he would have got away if that eyewitness wasn't underneath that bed, yep. from what I remember. And then, so, yeah, this is a This is the spot that happened then. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go check it out. You can kind of be like social media. Hey, it's active, man. So I know. Let's lay it up. Public sidewalk, guys. Public sidewalk. Public sidewalk. You're good. I'm not filming nobody's stuff this public sidewalk this building could be filmed we're good all right which one are we looking for one three nineteen people get mad you understand that but you know we're out here just doing a quick one and that's it Here it is. We're staying on public sidewalk. It looks nice over here, but this is just a place where it happened. Um, kind of creepy, ain't it? Yeah, it is creepy. No, that's where it happened. Right. Trippy. There's my phone ringing. And it's, I got snacks right, for all of us. Right? Yeah. Fair enough. So there it is. Yeah. That's amazing. Absolutely. He went to a couple of establishments in the southeast side. Let me fall back here, you. Go ahead. Yeah, talk. he went to a couple of establishments in the southeast side. Uh, Golden Shell Restaurant, which I remember. I used to go there. I ate there quite a few times with my dad. Hey. Yeah, talk to me about the retrospect thing on the yeah. way back to the van. Did he eat yeah. at the beer of clam, too? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> he might have. The bearded clam. Y'all some dirty uh, mofo, man. That's crazy. 1966, man. July 13th yeah. through July 14th, early morning hours. Wow. Yeah, and, and then they say he got up and went and ate breakfast down yeah. the street. Yeah, and yeah, and that's like the Golden <laughs> Shell Restaurant. You guys weren't aware and of this he, dude, man? And he no, went, no. I knew who he was, but I just didn't remember the story or whatever. Yeah, then he went to a couple bars too in the South Side. He might know the name. Because he worked at a, in Nancy's Lighthouse. He drank in there every time they came to town because he was a, a longshoreman. So he'd go on a ship for a uh, month, come back, come back. six See, months. Yeah, he'd thanks, come back, man. kill people, probably took off a lot like wow. that. But a lot, I grew up that's with why guys I, that said, yeah, he'd come in the bar and sit next to us every day, that son of a bitch. You know, he'd be mad. Right. You yeah. know, so everybody in the neighborhood knew who he was. It's amazing. Right. He wasn't like a, an unknown person. 
Well, I guess for that. Till then. Yeah, right. And then I'm not sure if that's the only murders he was convicted of. Right, right. Because right. that's, yeah. what, they, that's yeah. what they said. Like he just, and that's like, a big controversy uh, about it. Like, how many people out, did he really so murder? Right. You know, man? Because he was out of town. He, he, always, he claims to, to be oh, high cool. on drugs and alcohol, and that's that's why he committed yeah, these murders. Yeah. yeah. Crazy yeah. place, man. Doesn't look like a little spot. Yeah. Yeah, they got like that. Cool. Where he would take you know what it sounded like seventy cool. first or I got it on my phone. Yeah. It's in the Inglewood. Well, hey brother, I appreciate you showing us around and uh, we're snowed. burning your time today. Come but on. check I, this out. We got we got got something for you to storm, right? It's an any me my mo thing. Somebody gets to send us out of this video, guess what? Meanie, <laughs> meanie, no, Marty. Hey man, just hit like, subscribe hey. to Steel City Storm and get out of here. Hey, subscribe to Steel City Storm and get out of here, man. <laughs> Perfect. We gotta go. See you guys next round. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>